As you are no doubt aware, it is also possible for us to interface with Google Cloud through the command line. And in order to do so, you do need to install the Google Cloud SDK if you want to run the commands from your laptop. Alternatively, in the portal, you can also activate the Cloud Shell, as you'll see in some of the subsequent demos later on in this course. Uh, but what we're going to do right now is just show you how and where to download the Google Cloud SDK. And to begin, you basically need this link here, which is cloud.google.com slash SDK slash docs. So we'll head over to that site to begin. Okay, and here we are in the Google Cloud SDK documentation site. And you can see there, Cloud SDK is a set of tools that you can use to manage resources and applications hosted on GCP. And these include G Cloud, GSUtil and BQ command line tools. And Google has a number of links here to reference material around all the different CLI command line interface tools that you can reference. But the part we need to focus on is installing the SDK and making sure we have the latest version. And you can see, yeah, depending on your operating system, I'm actually on a Mac right now for this, so it's defaulted to Mac OS. If you're on a Windows machine, simply select Windows. That will tell you how to download and install there. Uh, if you're on Linux, you know, etc. There's options there for you as well. But we're going to go with the Mac OS option. So I'm going to select this, and I'm on a 64-bit Mac OS. So I'm going to download this tarball here. So let's grab this package. Now, after you extract your tar file, which you downloaded, it will basically create a folder for you, Google Cloud SDK. And in here are basically all the, the Python files that make up the Google Cloud SDK. And what we need to do is basically make sure these are in our path so that we can use them. So you can basically take this folder and put it where you like on your Mac, and then basically run the following command that I'll show you from the terminal to make sure it's in your path and everything is initialized correctly. So in my case, I've actually also already installed this previously. So if I go to my home folder, you will see that I have Google Cloud SDK here, but this is an older version. So what I can do is just paste over here my new version. And as you can see, that's now got the latest version in there. You can also just delete it and add the folder if you want to as well. Uh, but now what we need to do is go to our terminal window. So here I'm in my terminal window. I'm going to list out and you can see I've got Google Cloud SDK here. Uh, and then what we can do, and you'll see this on the command line here as well, is just grab this command here, which is basically an install script to add the Cloud SDK tools to your path. So paste that in there, hit enter. Welcome to the Google Cloud SDK. Do you want to help improve? You can do that if you wish to. And then you can also see it says, do you want to update your path for completion? I'm going to choose yes as well there. And go ahead and accept the defaults. And that's all completed. And now I need to run a G Cloud init to initialize the SDK, which is this command over here. And I'll run that. And you can see there, everything's complete. Do I want to log in? I hit enter there. So I'm going to log in with my Skylines demo account click allow and that will now allow me to authenticate and if we go back to my terminal okay and after the authentication is complete you can see that it's asking me to choose my project if I want to so I can choose compute demo and it sets my current project there you can also configure default region and zone if I want to so I can hit that and then perhaps I want to choose US East 1B as my default I'll just type number one in there and that's now all configured with my project default. And that's basically it for this demonstration. When we go into more of the commands later on, uh, sometimes we'll access them from the command line utility. The other option still, if we go to our Google console, is we can also access a lot of these commands via the Cloud Shell by simply selecting Activate cloud shell here and this is where google provides you with an environment that already has the sdk installed so you can run the g cloud util commands straight away from there and now that that's come up if we want to i can do things like g cloud compute 
uh, images. So I want to see all the images I've got for compute and list them out. And then you'll see that shows me all the images I can build compute instances from. But I'm running the command line directly from here. If I go back to my version on my Mac, same thing, gcloud compute images list. Same thing, I can run it from there as well. So again, this is the SDK. This is our ability to run commands from the command line as opposed to clicking around in the console. And with that, that concludes this demonstration. Just make sure you know how to either access via the cloud shell, which is probably the easiest option in a lot of cases, or have it available locally for you on your desktop machine.